Hey, see this one, no? Hey, I swear he thinks he can lure me to his bed, eh? With all of this cheap stuff. Then he just hit a very big rock. Who? Oh. My dear, who else if not that toaster, Steve? You keep professing on dying love for me, and truth is, I don't fancy him. I don't fancy him one bit like this. You guys seem nice. Yes, give him a chance. Hmm. That was my dad. I need to prepare his dinner. Ah, nonsense. This is bullshit. Ah, I swear I will stab the bastard and his son, eh? And then send him on a journey of no return. What is bullshit and what's getting you so upset? Someone just posted on Facebook again. This lady is always asking questions that are quite touching. She's like, imagine you're living in a house hmm? with a man that you see as your father. But he is not your father. And he's having carnal knowledge of you. Keywords, carnal knowledge. What will you do? Hmm. You already know your bestie now, eh? Hey, God. They, they won't see it coming. What is happening like this? Eh? Ha! Wow, things are happening. Hold on, sir. Young lady, I don't appreciate such discussions in this house. Besides, don't you think it's late? You should be going home. Nonsense. I want you to think you're good. I just want to see how often you can eat. Go and fix it in water for me. <laughs> and who are you chatting with at this time of the night? Oh, it's just my friend. I was checking up on her to know if she got home safely. And when did you become her watchdog? I have warned you about that girl. But you keep talking to her and inviting her over. She's my only friend. And who says you must have friends? Listen, if you don't put an end to that friendship, you will not like what I will do to you and her. Only God knows the things you must have been telling her. Just so, if I ever hear a word of what goes on in this house, outside, I will skin you alive and feed your flesh to the vultures of the field. Now, get the hell out of here. Now who's gonna switch off the television for you? So, look, I know you can hear me. Open the door. <laughs> Get I am sorry I behaved the way I did. Please. <laughs>
Okay, my son. All right. I'm expecting you. Yes. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Frank called. He says he was done in a fortnight. Why are you wearing a long face? Oh, you don't have to see him. What's wrong with you? I'm talking to you. I knocked at your door yesterday and you literally refused to open that door. And now this. Just so. I'm on my way. Just give me 10 minutes, okay? I said I'm on my way. Let me call you back. Let me call you back, please. Uh. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Thank you. She said, where are you going to? Huh? Which boy are you going to see dressed like this? <laughs> Don't tell me you've started seeing someone too soon. No, sir. I'm going to school. Our first semester result is out, and besides, I need to collect the course form for our registration. Don't worry. I'll drop you off at school. No, sir. You don't have to worry. I'm, besides, it's not the same route. I'm not complaining. I'm just hoping let's I'm, go. I want you here for something, sir. Let me just go. I'll I pick a cab. Don't worry. Eh? Uh, I only wanted to be sure you're fine. That's all. Come, let's go. Enter, my friend. Go and enter the car. My friend, open the gate and let me go out.
Where should I stay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay with us sitting like this? So sorry, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I didn't intend to. Are you giving me attitude? Because I, I could just carry my bag and walk out of this door and never come back. So you just want to live like that? I don't have time for this drama. What is all this? Fine. So where is the Charles he wanted me to meet so badly? Well, he, he got tired of waiting and he had to leave. Then he's not serious. No, actually he got a call from his boss. Whatever. So, um, when are you going to see Steve? I'm really losing count of all these guys you keep introducing me to. Steve? Who is Steve? Who is Steve when my crush, Frank, is coming home? Ew. Ew. Why are you giving me that look like we're struggling for the same man, girl? Okay, you're jealous. You eh? wish. Oh, okay, you better not be because it's a taboo to be having feelings for your brother. Ew, uh -huh. again. You're not permitted to, but I am. <laughs> Listen, you need help. I'm really losing count. Oh, yeah. Your numerous boyfriend. I need help. Because it was Charles. <laughs> then, Steve. Now you're crushing on. No, for real. My brother. Frank this time. Frank. Kutaka is so fine. Ah. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Wait up. Frank, girl, trust it. <laughs> I swear, you need help. No, I don't. I'm fine. You're not eating anything. I'll order for something then. Why is it You're going so to long? pay anyway. No, you pay. You pay. Because she kept me waiting. <laughs> wake up, wake up. My dad is here. You, you need to go. But dad, you know what? Go to my room and hide. Please stay there, okay? Please go, 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 go. Hurry up! Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Mm. Nice. Are <laughs> <laughs> you forgot my? My my phone. To stay inside. Why don't you come out? Are you sure you don't want to talk about what happened in there? What happened in there? It's not what you think. Come off it. Stop making things up. He was probably trying to tease me. Why well, didn't look that way to me? Oh my God, Chiso, is this something you're not telling me? Because there's obviously something you're hiding from me. I saw how he was looking at you. How would your father be looking at your back like that? Come off it. Stop being dramatic. I said it's nothing. You talk too much. Let's go. I told you to stay inside. Stay inside. Next time, stay inside. Don't come out. Ah, I drama queen. I'm sorry, but we came back from school together and got tired. I guess we slept off. I've warned you several times that I don't want to see that girl here. She is just too wayward. <laughs> wayward? Is that a reason? Because I am no scent where she is. At least she gets to pick who she sleeps with. What? Listen. We both know the real reason you don't want her around. And if I were you, I'd let her be. Wayward. 
போய் போட்டு Whether he's fine or finer than I thought. Even his friend. Did you see how he was just looking at you? Don't tell me you didn't notice. Oh well, now that my crush Frank is back, I'll be a regular visitor here. <laughs> what is even wrong with you? Uh-uh. Don't be such a killjoy. Are you done? Please, we have more bags outside. Please, please, just save the talk a bit. Too soon! Such a cute joy. Bro, mm -hmm. do not tell me your sister made this meal. So I should dead. Took over the kitchen from my mom when mom died. <coughs> Chisom is a very good cook. She learned from the best. Mm. She sure did, trust me. Because this is really nice. Hope you're enjoying your meal. I am enjoying my meal. Your food is very delicious. Thank you. Yo, what up, man? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> man, I'm trying to change my scene. I already did that. Oh. Yeah, let me call you because I know you don't have my number. No, 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 don't worry. I got your number. You have my number? Yeah. You sure? I got number. All right, man. I'm so tired. <sighs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to sleep. Hey, yo, 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 bro, you're trying to sleep away. Come on, bro, you can't sleep here. Why? Nah, you can't sleep here. I showed you the other room. If you don't like it, you can sleep at the boys' quarters. Wait. Besides, you're going to your uncle's house tomorrow or next tomorrow. You don't, you don't need to come so, me here. So, you actually want me to sleep in that room? It's the same as this room, bro. But this one is bigger, it's spacious. Yeah, you know, like space. Yeah, come on. And, and, and for the bed, this is a very small bed. You know, I like spread my leg when I sleep. Whatever, man. Come on, bro. Don't tell me you're angry, though. Good night.
Don't take it too hard, bro. Good night. Your friend. Frank. 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 Where the hell is he? Frank! I hope this boy has not come to see one of his girlfriends at this time of the night. Frank, yeah. where did you go last night? I came to your room last night and you were not there. <sighs> did you go out without me? Come on. And what time did you get back? Yo, bro, you didn't check properly. Because I was in the room. You know, I'm not stupid, you know? Because I was so sure that you were not in that room. I was in the room, bro. You were not in that I room. I was in the room. Where oh, did okay, you go? Okay, I, I went to... Um, Here's the water you asked for. Yeah, thank you very much. So you want to see your girlfriend? You want to see your girlfriend? You can't even wait for today. Yo, yo. I saw you do it. Yo, bro, chill. What do you know before I move? No, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, yo, your sister Chiso, what's wrong? Why is she always acting cold? Did you see how she was looking at you? Yo, bro, bro. 
Free that girl now. Whatever is eating her up, she's gonna be, she's gonna be fine, whatever, man. Last last, she could be alright. So how far now? Me, how far? All those girls on your DM. Don't give me the DM. Yo, 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 don't try to change the topic. You went out last night without telling me. Yo, okay, I'm not gonna do that again. You better not. No, the next time I step out, you're coming with me, for real. What is wrong with you? Must you always wear your worries on the face all the time? Listen, if a word gets out, be ready to kiss this life and your education goodbye. Frank! Over here! Now wipe that tears off your face. Wow. I'm sorry for scolding you. I'm sorry. Hey, what's up, man? I, I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't have a slightest idea of what's wrong with her for real, though. Dude, this girl is going through emotional trauma. You guys need to talk to her. She needs to see a counselor or a psychologist. Dave, you worry yourself too much. This is Chiso. I know her more than you, you know. This is how she behaves whenever she needs money, favor, to, to school stops. Probably. So it's, it's because of money she's behaving like that? One of those things, you know. She'll be fine, you, she'll be fine. What's up now? We should go see your uncle. Yeah, yeah. that's why I, I came. I, let's go, man. Let's, let's go get dressed then. All right. Hey. Boss of the house. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Ah, God. Yo. It's crazy. Where is this girl? <sighs> just so. I just hope she's around, though. Just so. Oh. There she is. Okay. Uh, can you can you get those two glasses of fresh juice, please? Yo, bro. Huh? Why are you lost for looking my sister like that? Me? No, I was not. I know you, bro. I know you. Look, I was just trying to figure out why a pretty girl would be so reserved. But the truth is, she's pretty. I, don't, I like her. Okay, okay. You see the last line? And I like her. And it's, no, no, no. That's a, that's a no limit line right now. That's a no limit line. You don't do that. Keep your appreciation to yourself, you prig. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, thank you, thank you very much. Yo, bro. What's up, you? What? What are you, what, what are you doing? Yo, man, she's pretty. What's, what's wrong with you? Are, you? are you okay? Yo, 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 yo. Keep your appreciations to yourself. What is she so pretty? Yo, who got all the pretty girls outside that know my sister? Really? Yeah, that's my sister, bro. That's your sister, huh? Yeah, that's my sister. So you keep your prick to your gene. In your gene, oh, motherfucker. I'm keeping it. Yeah, you do that. Stop looking. Sorry. <laughs> I was there, man. <laughs> I can't not be there. Yo, bro, hold on, bro. What, what is after all this weirdness way that and this girl doesn't show? I thought you said you've stopped with this skeptic lifestyle of yours. Can you just try positivity for once? You're always doubting, doubting this, doubting that. It's always being skeptical. I don't know what you're talking about. That's man. bad energy. Yo, bro, be realistic here. What if they don't show? They're gonna show. What's that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be there in five minutes. I promise, I promise, I promise I'll be there. Alright. Yo, what's up? Yo, that was my auntie. Oh, I forgot we had an appointment. I'm supposed to go drop her off at the airport. So. Well, that's not a problem, we can still go from there. No, 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 no. It's just chill here. I'll go drop her off. Come back, pick you up. And what's up? 
You know how much she loves privacy, bro. Yeah, so I'll see you later. I'll see you. I'll see you. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. <laughs> Chase home. Is everything all right? Who's there? Sorry, um, I was just coming to tell you to get me something to eat because I'm really hungry. But, but why are you crying though? I'm fine. And you need to leave there before the Syrians start suspecting that something else is going on here, please. Oh, um, I, I'm sorry. Yo. What are you doing here? Nothing. I I was actually coming to tell Chisum to get me something to eat because I was really hungry. Listen, girl, I don't like the way you're patronizing my sister. <laughs> what do you mean patronizing your sister? I was just hungry and I was coming to tell her to give me food to eat. You know your way to the kitchen. Listen, I don't like it. I see the way you've been looking at how your eyes do, bro. Stop it. I'm not comfortable with it. Oh, come on. I just came to tell her to give me food to eat. Besides, we're friends, and one makes you think I won't be a good in-law. Good in-law, you said? <laughs> Are you joking? Yo, come on, stop that. Don't even think about it. You can't even entrust my dog for you to take care of, not, not, not to talk about my sister. I'm not ready for this, man. Man, I'm hungry. Hungry? You're yeah. bounce, you're hungry. Uncle is still not back. I thought you said he dropped the key to his apartment for you. Wait, are you chasing me out of the house or something? <sighs> I'm not chasing you out of the house. Just that, bro. The way your eyes have been moving around my sister. I'm not comfortable with that. And I wouldn't want you sneaking into her room at night. Really? Yeah. Why would you even think that? That's crazy. And why would you even nurse that thought? Because you are Dave. And I know you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. mm. Yo, bro. I'm allowing you to spend the night in the house today. Because you just take that as a favor. Tomorrow you zap. Mm. And don't come around looking for me because I'm fine. Quit all that pretense. You come checking up on me in the middle of the night. Yo, I'm good. Alright? <laughs> don't come around checking up on me. I'm fine. Yes, so I'm tired. I want to go to bed. All right, man. Good night, man. Good night, bro.
What the hell is going on in this house? You like it? Nah, this, see the style looks too common and look, just take this one. This one looks this more one? mature, yeah. Right? Mm hmm Trust me, that one is more mature. Yo, Pop, good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. How are you boys doing? Yeah, good. And I hope your night was fine, because yeah. mine was good. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. That's good. You look good, man. Yeah, sit down. Thank you very much. Uh, just wait. Uh -huh. You said you had some money. Yeah, just a little bit. Come on. Go on. Why is your face looking this dull on a beautiful morning like this? You can walk around the whole house with a bad energy. Come on. Are you trying to infect me with that? No, you can't. Because I got a lot of immunity in me. You know what? You say you want to get stuff. Get something for yourself. I'm this. Take this. Before you call me, Rafa. Take that. Bro. Yeah. Believe you me, that girl has a lot bottled up inside. Oh, whatever going on with her, she'll be fine. She saw it out. She's a big girl. So. So what's up? Let's go get your stuff so I'll drop you at your uncle's place. Yeah. Um, this time around, you don't have to tell me that you're coming back to my house. Now you're living for good. <laughs> you're living for good, bro. Right. Where's the cab guy? He's not here. Oh. He's supposed to be here by now. Well, let me walk you down the road to get another cab now. Mm? I know the sun is hot. Tele. It's okay. Are you sure Mona, Mona will be at home by this time? She's texting me. She says she's, she's home. Just let's go. Okay, really? Yes. Okay. Ah! Look at the sun now. <laughs> Where's Joe? Oh no, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to use that taxi. I don't like stressing myself. I mean the lady that just left. 
sorry, sir. Why are you in a position to tell you that? She's your wife. I think you should ask her personally. Is that so? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, my name is Barrister Daniels. And um, you sold drugs to my wife without a doctor's prescription. I hope you know what that means. I'm going to bring this pharmacy down and your boss's license is going to be confiscated. Oh, so, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, wait, sir. Sorry, she was here to get personal too and some contraceptives to prevent pregnancy. Um, she said she needed to take them because she had unprotected sex. Wait, what? Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Good evening, sir. Hey, um, can I come in? Oh, Frank is not around. I know. I actually came to see you. Why? Can I at least come inside? Okay. Thank you. I am not trying to condemn you or anything. I was just curious to know why you choose to bottle up a lot of pain inside you. Look, it's nothing to worry yourself about. I'm a grown woman and I can take care of myself. You need to leave before they come back. Chiso. Please, leave. Hi, please go to the guest room and stay there, please. So long in opening the door. And why did you lock it? Sorry, sir. I was busy in the bathroom. No, kitchen. Sorry, sir. Check on my homeboy.
I brought food for you. You need to lay low because nobody knows you around, okay? Chisong! Chisong! What are you doing here? Um, nothing. I just, I just came to clean and arrange the place because since your friend left, I haven't done it, so I decided to do it. Hello. Hi, good evening. Evening. Uh, please, let Frank know that I'm here. Okay, just have a seat. I'll get him. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> you look nice. Ah, uh, th thank you. He's going to be with you shortly. Thank you very much. Let's go to the kitchen. Come on. Hello. Uh, Excuse you. Mm -hmm. He was just looking at you lustfully. Oh, I didn't even notice. But I noticed you flirting with him. <laughs> Honestly, who wouldn't? That guy is so cute. Ah, I think I might begin to consider him instead of Frank. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. So calm. So handsome. Gosh, his smiles can break any woman's defense. Hey! Gosh, you're unbelievable. Good job. What is it? Uh -uh. Why are you always trying to invade my, my privacy? You're so nosy. Eh? I'm nosy. She's so. Hey! <laughs> when do we start keeping secrets away from each other? Oh, 
okay so now you have a boyfriend eh and all of a sudden your bestie is not the relationship breaker abi uh uh i haven't said that mm. <sighs> okay see he's just a random guy i met and i'm not sure of how i feel about him yet okay so just calm down so you don't still feel i deserve to know eh oh wow when is the right time i'll let you know for now please i need to fix this plate if you can help me i'll be very happy so uh, i'm i'm talking too much please pass me the plate thank you see they're useful good job <laughs> So mm, yeah, yeah. So you good? Yeah, I'm good. Let's go. All right. Jason, Ali, what's happening? Don't tell me you're planning on screwing your brother's friend. I'll be already screwing him. Because girl, I saw the way you both were looking at What are you other. talking about? No, don't do that. Don't don't invade my privacy like that. What's going on? Come on, get out. Leave me alone. Jesus. I mean like that. You know, I was wondering why such a beautiful lady like you will have so much pain inside of you. Chiso, you have a wonderful family, a beautiful life with people that really care about you. Why are you always cold? A wonderful family. Mm -hmm. A beautiful life. Yes. Does that really count? Of course. See, let me tell you. People will die to have the life that you have. Don't say that. Look, this family you call wonderful and this life you refer to as beautiful is a life that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. You don't know what you're talking about. Can we just... Talk about something else, please. Okay, now you're making me uncomfortable. You know, looking at you makes me feel like a teenager in love. What? Yes, I, I am not a child. I'm a full grown man and I know what I feel inside of me. What do you feel inside? I love you. Look, ever since I came into that house, I knew that I have found that one person that completes me. You can't be so sure. Look, David, there are a lot of things you don't know. And besides, Frank will never let us be together. And why did you say that? Look, I know Frank is your brother, but I can't... He's not my brother. 
Wait. I won't let you speak past that like I didn't hear what you said. Did you just say Frank is not your brother? Yes. It's hard to believe, right? You know what? I'm, I'm leaving. Uh, no, no. Hey, just, just listen to me. I am serious. I really need you. I need you by my side. For what? As your sex machine? Or, or a sex toy to satisfy your libido. All you men are the same anyway. Wait, what I'm out of here. Wait, wait. Uh, no, 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 please. What are you talking about? Well, who's going to finish this food? I don't know why sex is so painful to you. Like, I've been trying... Babe? Hey. Okay, I'm sorry. But you need to see a doctor. You really need help. Yo! Dave, what's up? Dave! Frank is here. Oh my god. Hey, look, 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 listen. Just calm down, okay? I'm going to discharge him. Don't go anywhere. Just stay here. You hear me? Uh, hey. Frank, what's up, though? Are you. Why are you sweating? <sighs> you know <laughs> something. I'll be something. No, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I get power right now. Eh? As a matter of fact, I was about to start when you called me. So, uh, help uh, your brother on this one. We can't see the power now. It's sharp, I guess. What are you? This girl is naked inside. You want to see her? True. Dave. Now today we'll begin seeing her get something. I know. Let me see a little bit. Wait, wait. Now you'll see her, but not today. Not today. Are you asking your homeboy out because of a girl? Please. Oh, come on. No, no, don't tell me your girl. Oh, come on, come oh. on, bro. Frank. She's naked, like I said. Yo, bro. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll see her some other time, like yeah, you said. Some right? other time, yeah. So I should leave. Yeah. Like, bam. Yeah. Right? Okay, I'm yeah. going bands, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, 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 not so fast, guy. I know you. I've told you this guy's naked. Come on, man. Baby. Maybe yeah. today we'll be kissing that guy something, man. You want a brush and you asking me out for props? I'm gonna do this to you, bro. I'm All right, babe. Be good, I. Right? Uh, She's, All right. She'll be good. She'll be good. Yeah. About three oh. minutes. <laughs> Franco. Yeah. You stop there. And where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? From my friend's place, Caritas. 
Oh, now you lie to me. No, now you're lying to me. You think you can go behind my back and sleep with my friend without me finding out? What is wrong with you? Oh, God knows I will go to any length to stop this madness of yours. The next time I see you around him, that will be the day you kiss this life goodbye. I love him. What did you say? I said I love him. He's everything you're not and will never be. Lie. Dave can never love you. Not when he finds out how damaged you are. Yeah, just um, Yeah. He's everything that I can't be. And that's the reason he can't love you. Collateral damage. How dare you remind me of that? Oh, no. What is wrong with you? Stupid girl. I'm talking, you're talking. <laughs> that maybe you should ask her. <laughs> he slapped me. Why, why did you slap me? Why did you slap me? Dad, she saw me secretly sleeping with my friend. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Stop! What's wrong with you? Stay away from my sister! What's this? You stinking piece of shit! How could you? My friend, listen. Please just calm down and let's talk like adults and friends, okay? No, for real. Now you want us to talk like adults. When you went behind my back, stealing me from the pot like a teenager. Now you want me to act like an adult, right? Yo, bro, stay away from my sister and myself. Listen, the next time I see you around my sister, you're going to be sorry. I swear, bro. For real, bro. I'm bro, not joking. I'm, listen, I'm not listen to me, friend. Bro! Bye. Frank, I'm talking to you! Bro! Alright, you already know where we're coming from. I'm gonna shoot you and nobody will ask questions. Shit! Excuse me, um... You're Chisom's friend, right? Where is she? I've been trying to reach her. I've been calling her. I've been sending her messages. She's not returning my calls or messages. Nothing! Sorry, why are you calling and texting Chisum when you can reach your friend? Oh, she, she didn't tell you. The thing is, uh, Chisum and I have been seeing each other for some time now, but I was trying to find the right time to tell Frank, but he found out. Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable! So all this has been happening and I am just finding out. So much for friendship, Chisum. Uh, excuse me, please. This is not the time for this. Have you heard from her? Has she called you because I, I need to speak with her? Well, she called me on the phone and was crying. And before I could find out what the problem was, the call dropped. So I came here to find out what the problem was, only for Frank to throw me out. Fra I Frank threw you out? I, I guess. Chisel! I, I, stop! Chisel! Stop! Stop! Don't, don't do this. Why? Stop! Stop! Just give her a break. She's already grounded, and you're only going to make matters worse. But, but she, she's so grounded. I'm not seeing her for now, please. She's been grounded, and you saying it's okay? How? How? How do you? I, I need You would have told Frank from the onset. Eh? Since he's your best friend, there's no such thing as a perfect you know timing. What? Never mind. And David! Hold on. Um, come in. Have a seat. I've been trying 
trying to reach you. I am so sorry. Uh, do, you, do you guys care for anything to drink? I don't want anything. Glass of water will do. Okay. Jesus, yeah. that is so nice. What is wrong? David, we need to talk. Out. No, we can't. I'm sorry, but we can't be together. What do, you, what do you mean we can't be together? Have a nice life, David. Baby. Babe. 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 Let's go. Pick your bags. Let's go. She's almost wrong. Let's go. She's home. He cannot break up with me. Look, David, we barely just started, so it's better we put an end to this now. I love you. <laughs> love. <laughs> you can't love me. There's no way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, David, but I'm not who you think I am. What are you talking about? Frank was right. There's no way you end up with a collateral damage like me. Let's go, Just wait. Look at me. Look at me. What are you talking about? I'm damaged, okay? Yes. My life is a mess. And no matter how hard I try to conceal and hide this court, I'm still going to be damaged. Just let me go. Let's go. Listen, Come on. Listen to me. Whatever that is eating you up, this is the time for you to let it out before it destroys you. Sit down. Please. Sit down. What is wrong? Talk to me. Frank. Okay, what about Frank? Frank and his father, Otumba, have been sleeping with me. What? what? No blood ties with them. I've been living with them since I was a child. His mother was my mom's customer, so she took me in after I lost my parents in a ghastly motor accident where I was the only survivor. I can I can still remember how it all started. I was only a child. I was eight when I moved in with them. I, I never knew what molestation was about. And when I turned nine, I was forcefully made a woman without my consent by Frank. I was just a child. You can imagine how confused I was. So I, I reported him to his father because his mother was hardly at home. And, and instead of Otumba to correct the ills, 
He warned me not to tell it to anybody. You can imagine that. And okay. I was so scared okay. and confused. So I, I decided to live with it. Then, just when I was getting over it, Utumba walked into my room one night. <laughs> They deserve to die! Why are you going to? To end your miserable lives. No, no, you, you can't do anything. You, you can't say anything. You're only going to complicate life for me. What do you mean? You want to die in silence? No! No, but you can't resolve issues like this when tempers are all heightened up. She's right. We need to report them to the right authorities and let the law have its way on them. We need to come up with something more solid. We need proof. Proof. I am proof. Oh, stop being naive, Chisholm. We need more than just your testimony. I think I have a solution. Here we are. Hold on, let me get the door for you. Hey, slow down. Let's not do this, okay? I just saw her along the roadside and decided to drop her off. Have I not told you that I don't want to see you anywhere around here? And you, what are you doing with this he goat? Am I not talking to hey, you? Hey, don't you, don't you lay your filthy hands on her. What's wrong with you? Don't you ever lay your filthy hands on her again because the next time you do, trust me, I will make sure you regret ever becoming my friend. Is it going to do that? Don't push me. Now push me, Frank. Maybe you've never met a man who would do anything to keep a woman he wants to keep, even if the universe is against it. You just met one. Like I said, don't push me. Leave, Dave. Leave! Leave and never return again! I don't want to see anywhere around this facility. I own this place. And for you, open the goddamn gates! we did for you you still want to bring down this family what family are you talking about get your filthy hands off me <laughs> I hope you know we can make you disappear into thin air just like your father did to your mother right you have a problem with that really that's all you have to say about that Frank, you disgust me. <laughs> what am I living for anyway? Tell me. You and your father stripped me off of my pride as a woman. You took away the one thing that I cared for. You pathetic excuse of a being. You should be grateful. You know what? Bring your ass here and do what you know how to do best. Don't touch me. Let me go! Leave me alone! Don't touch me, Frank! Frank! Let go of me! 
Now that we finally have this, we can put an end to this madness. I just want to rip their hearts out. Wait a minute. She's home. Today you went to the pharmacy to get the post, you know. Where you could I was tired of the abortion. I was only making sure that I don't get pregnant again. Oh my god. It's been you. It's been you all along. The post. Oh my God. So we just posted on Facebook again. This lady is always asking questions that are quite touching. She's like, imagine you're living in a house hmm, with a man that you see as your father. But he is not your father. And he's having carnal knowledge of you. Keywords, carnal knowledge. What will you do? I'm so sorry, Chiso. So sorry. I have to go before they start looking for me. No. There's no way I'm going to allow you back into the house. Please. No. Just stay in here. Just let me handle this, okay? I should have known. I should have known all along when I noticed the painful sex. Um, I, I knew you were going through stuff, but I, I never saw this coming. Look, you need to see a doctor ASAP. But for now, we need to put this perverts in your place. <laughs> Pain in place of peace Lost over love Slavery in the sky My name is Mr. James And seated here is my colleague, Miss Eunice We are psychotherapists and we are also mental health practitioners. Cool. I want to thank you guys for coming. And I must say, you came highly recommended. Welcome. Ms. Chisong, I need you to understand we are here for your own good. What you've been through can damage you psychologically. <laughs> you need to stop crying. I need you to answer my questions so I can attend to you better. <laughs> right? Babe, you need to put yourself together and give them all the necessary information they need. You need them to heal and get through this. At what age did it start? Nine. Pain in place of peace, lost over love. I am happy at the progress you made so far. The truth is that most red victims find it out to cry or say something, sometimes for what people will say. You know, I still can't believe that Chief Otumba and my friend Frank are actually behind <coughs> this shameful act. Mr. David, you must be thanked specially for intervening when you did. If not, they would have suppressed and continue to intimidate her and continue with that disgraceful act. Thank you, Mr. Chisholm, for allowing us Take you through the therapy process. And I'm happy you're getting better. Thank you so much, Miss Eunice. 
I'm happy I'm able to pull through. Mm -hmm. oh. I never knew I could ever get over the trauma. It was a lot and it almost killed me. Yeah. Thank you so much again. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Pain in place of peace. Lost over love. Slavery in disguise. Defense is broken. It needs to be mended. Everything seems to be tearing apart. Broken yet whole. I've held this man for a while. I need to heal. Broken yet whole. I finally realized I need some peace. Broken yet whole. Please hold me close. I'm craving for true love. Me. So sorry about that. But at least it's going to help the genital warts. I'll go to the doctor next week to get your results. You really need this treatment, Chiso. Okay. Chiso. When I said I love you, I meant every word. I promise to stick with you physically, emotionally, psychologically, and even spiritually until you become the woman that you want to be. But I want you to promise me that you're going to hold on no matter how tough it gets. That must be carrying us. Officer! That was the guy that abducted my sister. What? Mr. Ma, we are from first headquarters. We have been invited for questioning. Excuse me. He did kidnap me. He's my boy. No, will you shut up your mother? I'll shut it up for you. Officer, why are you all chilling on this guy? Hey, no, no, don't touch me. I'll, I'll go. Yo, officer, this guy that mm -hmm. kidnapped her, man. I'm not going to run. I just said he didn't kidnap me. Don't do this. Wait. He's not a kidnapper. He's my boyfriend. Who's your boyfriend? Who's your boyfriend? I'm doing this for you. Get out of my way. Yo, officer, what's up now? Yo, officer, this guy, yo. He's my boyfriend. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Sister, you beast! Let him go, please! Move him, move him! You move this guy! Move this guy! Move this guy. Unbelievable. They are not my family. Otumba is not my father. Naira is Frank, my brother. As if all they've done is not enough. They had to put me through this. They don't know what's coming. They don't know what's gonna hit them. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. I should go home. Okay. Uh, you. Yes, 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 yes. Take care of my girl. The face is broken. It needs to be mended. Everything seems to be 
tearing apart Broken yet whole I've held this pain for a while I need to heal Broken yet whole I finally realized I need some peace Broken yet whole Please hold me close I'm craving for true love Disperunia 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 Babe Hey Yahoo Yeah I've been trying to reach you Really? Oh uh, yeah, I sorry, I saw your missed call when I came in. I was trying to check something on my phone. Okay. How was your day? Are you okay? I'm fine. I was at the hospital earlier to see Dr. Phil. Oh. But he said you already dropped by and you picked up the test results. Yes, um, as a matter of fact, this is it. Um, he said your, what you're experiencing is what they call... Dyspironia. What is that? Well, it's actually a medical term for painful sexual intercourse due to medical or psychological effects. It's actually caused by rape or child molestation. I was actually reading about it before you came in. No, oh babe. My God. No, 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 no. Don't, oh my don't, God. Don't, don't do this. Oh God, I'm damaged no. and broken. Baby, listen to me. Damaged, yes. But broken, no. We are going to fix this together, okay? We are going to fix the broken part of you together. Trust me, you're going to be fine. In place of peace, lost all. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? This is crazy. Very. Like, yeah, you have to sleep next to me to go to the bank to fix my card and get the money. Wow. Next to you. You have no idea. I don't believe that joke. He was asking me, oh, can I use your sponge to buy? I'm like, what? Are you, are you stupid? That's not true. For real. <laughs> Wow. Alright, so I'm um, sorry guys. Uh, let me get something for my car, yeah? Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Don't have all the fun without me, you know? No, we won't. All right. Yes, we will. No, we won't. Yes, we will. I beg. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think it's a good thing. You don't know this, but I. I've prayed for so long for God to send someone to deliver me. Help me through these dark times and my constant depression. I, I never told you this, but I actually have tried to take my own life before. I just don't know why I, I didn't go through with it. For some reason, I just I just kept holding on to this, this life, even though it was it was being snuffed out of me. Very strong woman. And I want you to always know that I and David would always be here for you. What is it? She's home. Um, I know there won't be the right time to do this. But I want us to live out this moment and relive them until our hairs are grey. That there's no teeth in our mouths. Until our eyes are almost shut and we can't we, we can barely see each other's face. I want us to look back and be proud of these memories. Please, Chisong, I want you to do me the honors to carry the seeds that are buried deep in my loins. Will you marry me? Uh, okay, uh, 
Um, can I say something, please? Yes, yes, sure. Um, <laughs> you can say whatever you want to say. Okay. Um, David. Yeah. You don't know this, but you're you're the person God sent to to help me to deliver me from my nightmares, my depression. I prayed to God so many nights to send someone, just anyone, anyone to help me, to save me from this, this darkness I call a life. I prayed for someone like you, for a friend, and here you are, a friend <laughs> on your knees, yes. <laughs> asking to be my husband my life partner and the father of my own children and trust me I I'll be a fool if I turn you down so yes yes yes, yes, yes oh my yes. oh wow this no this one this one the left oh god thank you thank you Don't worry, everything will be fine. I just want you to go in there and get your stuff so I can make the call. I want us to put an end to this madness, okay? All right, I'll see you later. Yes, um, officers, please be on standby. Thank you. What's your point here? I have to get my stuff. What stuff are you talking about? Because it is the things my father and I bought for you. The little bit of this. Really? Then what should I do? I need to remind you that everything in there was gotten from sleeping with you and your private excuse of his father. You had me by some bloody reasons. So don't you understand? and leave this miserable life you and your murderous rapists of a son who wronged me into. Don't you leave your filthy hands, my fiancé. What's are you doing here? You are a grateful beast. Oh, shut up, you monstrous rapist. I am here to put an end to that evil act that you and your father committed against this helpless innocent girl and even killing your own mother just to cover up the truth. What? Besides, you don't have a proof. Officers! Officers! What are you doing, Dave? Put an end to your evil act so that people like you will not get to live among humans. Mr. Emmanuel from Force Headquarters, you and your father are requested to be in the station for questioning. Officers!
can't believe they are both locked up. I know I've always wanted to escape from them, but I never wanted them to go to jail. Well, you don't have to blame yourself. The law caught up with them. Do you know how many girls that are going through what you went through without a voice to speak out? It's crazy. Anyways, tomorrow is the day that we start our journey as man and wife. And it's going to be the day that we're going to say yes to each other before God and friends. It's getting late. We need to go home early, sleep, wake up in the morning looking fresh for tomorrow. I know. I need to get my hair done yeah. and everything, nails. I can't wait. I need to look fly for daddy. I know. <laughs> Um, okay, I just want to say that I'm really grateful for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. What are you thanking me for? For saving me. It's love, baby. Love me. <laughs> it's love. Thank you. I love you, baby. I love you too. Sure. You got my lipstick on. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Die in silence? Is that what you want? No, but you can't resolve sensitive issues like this when the papers are all heightened. Let me say that again. Go, 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 go. And you can't action. What are you saying? You want to die in silence? No, no, not that. But, but you can't resolve sensitive issues like this when tempers are all tightened up. I heightened. Can. All you men are the same anyway. What are you I'm doing? out of here. Wait, wait. Uh, no, 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 please. What are you talking about? So who's gonna finish this food? Rolling. Uh, Pick up. 
Okay. 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 Pain in place of peace, lost over love, slavery in disguise. Broken, it needs to be mended. Everything seems to be tearing apart, broken yet whole. I've held this pain for a while. I need to heal, broken yet whole. I finally realized I need some peace, broken yet whole. Hold me close, I'm craving for true love